All right, guys, I'm going to hop on a little early here. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I am in uh, NES, uh, NSYS, excuse me, at the moment. Uh, NSYS kicking off the uh, the small cap party again this morning, up 126%. Uh, NSYS is also easy to borrow at some brokers, as you guys know. Easy to borrow, easy to blow up. Uh, it's a sub one, uh, sub one million in float stock. Uh, seeing the float around 900k, so pretty similar yesterday to APDN. You, you know, I pointed out the similarities uh, pretty early there in Discord. I was like, guys, this is pretty similar to uh, APDN. You know, big spreads, thin name, uh, low float, has a news catalyst. Uh, and there's some broker, and there's some brokers with some uh, borrowers going around. So uh, uh, NSYS, uh, I think this thing could have some uh, big time potential right now. You know, as far as getting in, you know, I would say wait for some sort of pullback. You know, you don't want to buy in here. You know, we're pretty pretty straight up from uh, you know four bucks here on NSYS. So I would say wait for some sort of pullback. Uh, but I definitely like the potential here in NSYS. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that many shares on. It's just a very thin name. So I had a thousand shares right around the 490 average. Uh, I sold some right around six bucks for a little over a $500 gain, and I'm still holding 500 shares from a 490 average. Uh, just wish I, uh, you know, had more shares, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, Ricky, definitely light volume, but you know, very thin name. It's an extremely thin name. It doesn't take much to go. It does not take much to go. We saw it yesterday in APDN. You know, the volume looked really light yesterday, but you guys saw how fast that one took off. Uh, these aren't even low floats we're dealing with here. These are like nano floats, uh, super micro floats. So you can see how uh, thin they are and how easily uh, they move. So uh, you know, really nice, uh, nice action here in NSYS. Yep, uh, Eagle. I'm gonna put it up for you. My apologies. Was watching uh, SINT, but SINT just got no volume whatsoever towards it. Got no volume whatsoever. So. Uh, you know, couldn't get involved with that one. I was watching it. I didn't like how it didn't have a catalyst either. You know, I like how NSYS here has a catalyst. So I just want to hop on early and say that. Just give you guys a, uh, you know, a heads up right there. You know, I'd probably say the next level of support would probably be around that $5 area. Probably be around that five dollar area, and you know after yesterday, I could see uh, a lot of people uh, you know chase this thing on up. You know that's usually what happens, and we usually have a big, uh, usually have a big you know runner uh, you know day one, especially like a supernova. You know the sentiment is kind of like chase everything. Uh, everyone's getting FOMO the following day, so I was popping in pretty early here. You know four nineties. You know I saw this setup and. You saw the similarities pretty quickly, so I was pretty jump to pretty quick to jump on this one. Yeah, the daily charts uh, pretty much non-existent here. This this is no volume the past year on NSYS, so we really don't have to worry about uh, you know bag holders or anything like that. Yeah, this is the run. I remember playing this once before in NSYS. Uh, yeah, so this was last year. Last year went on a nice rip. Uh, it's the only. Uh, day we could really look at to get you know some sort of idea so day one it, it ran from uh, opened up at 346 hit a high of 650 closed uh, near the uh, high of day so that's good it closed near the high of day uh the following day did go on a you know a day two rip here but it did uh close uh relatively weak on on the day two but we don't really care about the day ones and i think that's it uh any other days over like a million in volume nope so that's really it Lavinia, good morning to you. Hope you're having a, a great time in uh, St. Thomas. Uh, Chris, did I swing uh, APDN? Uh, nope, you know I did not swing APDN. You know I said it has a, a risk of offering. Uh, you know they could raise, so uh, you don't want to take that uh, that chance. It's a pretty risky swing, in my opinion. Uh, I will not be shorting S NSYS. To me, that's a uh, kind of asking for it there on NSYS short. Very risky short, in my opinion, on NSYS.
Sure, uh, JJ. Uh, you know, my watch list uh, is going to be NSYS on top watch. Also going to be watching uh, APDN. Uh, I'll keep SI and T on the back burner. And I'll also keep CLDS on the back burner. This one did have some news this morning. And I, I, I said I love this daily chart. I love this daily chart here on CLVS. Uh, you know, I swung it a few days ago. Made some money on it. I uh, had a red day and now it's back up today. So we could definitely see uh, you know, a short squeeze this morning on CLVS. Uh, a little bit higher in float play. Not a low float by any means here. But I still think this could uh, make some sort of uh, move today on CLVS. Yep, Casper, I know you're going to be uh, all over that one on NSYS. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I did see, you know, it was easy to borrow for uh, you know, a second there. Now it's gone here. So, uh, you know, hopefully we had some uh, time for some shorts to grab some borrows. did happen though yesterday also on APDN there were borrows and they were gone and then there were borrows again uh, over lunch hours Dermot sure my entry was 490 490 on NSYS Uh, I already locked in half, so I did lock in uh, half of my shares. All right, so light speed's still easy to borrow. That's good. Let me see. We do have a uh, large amount of insider ownership, uh, insiders, uh, insider ownership here as well. Really excited for the bell here. I want to see uh, what's going to happen here on uh, NSYS. So I just watch my position. I did hop on the mic early today. Usually I hop on around 9.10. Usually I hop on around 9.10 for uh, anyone new. But I did just want to hop in early just to let you guys know that I was in, uh, I am in uh, NSYS. So right here, just consolidating at the moment. Yank, uh, Yank nine four six. You're uh, you're new. Just sub. Thank you. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the sub. Yeah, pretty rare for me to hop on early. Just uh, I don't know. I was just feeling it. Feeling like hopping on a little bit early today. Do want to go over APDN as well. Do want to go over that one. I'll probably do that in a few minutes here. Just want to watch NSYS here because you may see some sort of pullback. You may see some sort of pullback here. Yeah, Casper, uh, usually I would, you know, usually I would sit out on a play like this. You know, the volume's extremely light, but, you know, I just knowing how thin it is and just seeing, you know, APDN, you know, yesterday, uh, you know, I just I just saw the opportunity here on NSYS, and that's, 
And that's why I went small. And it's not even like you could have gone big at the time. The time I got in, it was like, I think it was like 50,000 shares traded. Uh, very rare for me to get into play like that. But like I said, you know, I saw the opportunity. Uh, I saw the potential there in NSYS. And, you know, I grabbed the 1,000 shares. You know, it wasn't anything big by any means for me. Usually I'm trading much more shares than that. Uh, it's just a very thin name. Uh, you know, it could easily drop, you know, a point or two in a matter of seconds. So, you know, I don't want to get caught with too much on a thin name. So I would say for anyone, you know, I would say size down a little bit on this play. Uh, not a play you want to go huge on, you know, how big the spreads could get. You know, if we fail to get over six here, I may consider you know, taking here. If we fail to get over six here, I may consider taking here or just having a trailer in at the moment. Uh, you guys know I don't love holding into the bell. It just gets unpredictable. So I'm just watching it here. All right, so let's see. So APDN, you know, APDN, I would say on that play, uh, you know, you got to be very careful. Both sides, you know, long or short on APDN. I would think the best thing to go into the open on APDN, going with an open bias uh, on APDN. If you guys are open to long and shorting it, you know, see what it does. See where it reacts. I would say watch this 1250 line uh, here on APDN. You'll see how it reacts to 7289 lines here. Uh, pay attention to the volume on APDN. Uh, this thing could still trap and squeeze today on APDN. I probably won't be my main focus today. I'm probably be more focused on uh, uh, NSYS this morning. But APDN, I definitely think that has some potential today for either a big move to the upside or a big move to the downside. So I would say definitely one you could also keep on watch on uh, APDN for some sort of move. All right, I'm back here. All right. Oh, my dog woke up your dog. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Just have to meet the mic for a second right there. Someone just uh, was at my door.
Yeah, I have two little ones. I have a uh, toy poodle and I have a Jean, and I have my big guy. All right, so just still sitting here, you know, watching my uh, position at the moment. Uh, usually, I would be going over a watch list right now, but I am in I am in a position at the moment, so I do have to focus on my position. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything else. Uh, Yeah, I love my Dogo. Best dog I've ever had. He's awesome. All right, let's see. NSY, NSYS starting to push a little bit here. Starting to push a little bit here. Uh, if we come up to the highs here, it may lock in a little bit more. It may lock in a little bit more. I know I don't have that much, but uh, it's made us lock in some more here on uh, NSYS. And then leave a little bit of a flyer over. All right, so let's see here. Want to see this thing uh, get over six? Start the base over six. You could possibly be seeing some uh, new highs here on uh, NSYS. Uh, what's a good entry on NSYS? I would say at this point, you know, you're better off waiting till the open. Uh, I have a five dollar line mapped up here on NSYS. Getting in here a little bit chasey, unless you want to play this five sixty mark. Uh, let's see, uh, Roland, what's your average? Uh, I do have a, uh, oh, look at this, APDN, guys. Looks like APDN has an offering here, guys. APDN, we warned you. Warned you guys there on APDN. Told you guys, APDN, you usually we see these offerings happening between 9 and 9.30, and uh, there it is. So that could kill some momentum here. Could kill some momentum here, that offering. So do want to watch how NSYS reacts to that. Do want to... Uh, Richard Cole, I didn't call... You know, I didn't call anything out. It was more Poseidon. You know, I'm not good at, good at that fundamental stuff. I just said, uh, you know, watch it for a potential uh, offering between, you know, after hours and pre-market. And I did say... Uh, most of the time, we see these offerings come out in pre-market between 9 a.m. to 9.30 Eastern Time. So, uh, so I hope no one got caught in that. Hope no one got caught in that on APDN. Uh, hope this doesn't kill the momentum here on NSYS. Because sometimes we do see that. We do see uh, offering do kill uh, some momentum here.
Yeah, sorry about the Nightbot. I actually meant to change it. I actually did change the Nightbot. I removed it, but I forgot to save it. <laughs> forgot to save it. But I think I'm going to get to that today. Uh, you know, correct the Nightbot. Yep, hope no one uh, got caught there on uh, APDN. Not seeing anyone who got caught. Uh, yeah, Jason. All right, so, uh, yeah. On a play like this, uh, first of all, you shouldn't be in big on a play like NSYS. You shouldn't be big on a play uh, like NSYS. Uh, it doesn't have, uh, you know, it's very thin. doesn't have much volume traded on the day. So, first off, you shouldn't be in big. Uh, yeah, and, you, you know, you got to have a, uh, you know, a tight stop. You got to be very quick. Uh, you know, I would honestly, you know, say, uh, and you probably don't even, uh, May even want to be using you know some type of market order on NSYS because uh, sometimes on a play like this you know the spreads are so big that you know if you have a if you have a hockey it may only have like a five cent buffer it may miss so uh, on a play like this usually you do want to maybe use uh, you know market orders here if you you're looking to maybe exit. So I'm just keeping a close eye here on NSYS. I'm considering you know, maybe exiting before the bell. Uh, it gets very unpredictable at open. You know, I don't know how the market's gonna react to that uh, that offering on APDN. Uh, it may hurt the momentum a little bit. So uh, do you want to be uh, do want to be cautious here? Did already lock in uh, some some games on NSYS and uh, currently I'm up 400 uh, unrealized. Uh, would CNST fall under the deck cap bounce potential? Uh, a little bit of a different play there. A little bit of a different play. I usually don't like uh, dead catting, uh, you know, offerings. But you know, totally up to you. Uh, whatever uh, fits your criteria and whatever uh, fits your setup. Now I could always re-enter NSYS if I exit now. I could always look to re-enter. Uh, yeah, Sterling Trader. I didn't see any dilution either on NSYS. Uh, if you guys see any, let me know. But you know, from a quick look at it, I didn't see anything. Man, so shorts are having a field day on APDN over there. Shorts are having a field day. Yeah, APDN getting smoked here. Let's see. Uh, APDN prices 12 million warrants at $5 per share. Uh, Chris, you know, I'm not sure how it's going to react. You know, I think it could have a negative effect. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, I've seen times where we have offerings and it kills momentum of the day. 
just puts a lot of fear into, you know, a lot of longs. But maybe the market could see it as an as a uh, different way and be like, hey, you know, NSYS, you know, APDN's done. Let's all flock over to NSYS. So we really have to see and react, see how it reacts. Yeah, stock block. Yeah, I didn't have any shares uh, on APDN this morning. I was would have located some, but just didn't have any. Nice, Leroy. You caught 2K. Very nice. Uh, APDN should have SSR on uh, once the market opens on up. Uh, nope, Casper, it's uh, standard here. All right, so a uh, little bit of a weird pre-market uh, for anyone joining in late. Uh, I am in a trade. I am in NSYS. Uh, didn't wasn't able to go over a pre-market analysis because uh, I am in a trade. Uh, APDN, I was gonna go over a uh, hey, game plan for that one. I was gonna say look to uh, you know short into pops right off that you know that twelve fifty area, uh, or look for weak opens off tens uh, for the base and move back on up, but. Uh, Looks like we got an, uh, an offering here, which wasn't uh, wasn't by surprise. You know, we were uh, we did say we mentioned it multiple times that we could see an APDN offering today, so it wasn't by shock. Uh, other than that, uh, I think that's really it. It's just going to be NSYS this morning, uh, and uh, I mean SINT, nothing really here. I mean the volume's so weak on this one. Could even be uh, you know, look the weak pops get short into so. It's really going to be all eyes on NSYS for the small cap market this morning. Yeah, Durkee definitely. It was definitely warned in Discord. Definitely was warned in Discord. All right, we got five minutes. This market opens on up. Five minutes here. Uh, make sure you guys are, uh, you know, make sure you're sticking to your lines, cause uh, you know, a day like this, you know, FOMO can definitely take into effect, especially after yesterday's big runner. Yeah, how crazy is that, Chris? How crazy is that? Up over 110% on uh, about a half a million in volume. Hey, you know, it's the power of the low float here. Uh, it's a super thin name also on NSYS, so uh, not uh, not totally uh, surprising here on NSYS. Uh, yeah, stock block, I think I'm going to hold it out. I think I'm going to hold it out to open. You know, I may even look to add to my position. If we come back to five and I like how we're holding here, I may even look to add to my position. Uh, but I think I'm gonna hold out my uh, my shares here on NSYS. I think it's definitely worth the potential here. 
definitely definitely think it's worth the potential and i already locked in you know 500 bucks so uh no matter what i'm gonna be uh green on the trade here on uh, nsys Here we go. There's a push here, 620. So it looks like we're uh, creeping up here right at the open. Uh, George, a minute, uh, 490. Good job, Russell. You've been killing it, man. Yeah, I saw you made over 1,000 yesterday, almost 500 this morning. Great job. Uh, stock block, the plan into open. Uh, you know, if I... You know, if I wasn't uh, in right now, you know, I'd be watching, you know, this 560 line and this $5 line for possible dip buys off washouts. That would be, uh, you know, my kind of game plan here. Or if we get a weak open here, you want to play it safe, uh, you know, see if it uh, could consolidate below $6, you know, around this 560, maybe $5 area for a reclaim of 6 for a move back on up. So you could look for the uh, the pullback, consolidation below. And then a reclaim of six for an entry to get long, or you could look for a washout long into one of these lines. So that would be the game plan, you know. If I was, uh, you know, still looking to get in, uh, I may be looking to add here on dips, depending on you know how the price action and volume looks. All right, so I'm gonna throw up the uh, the new scanners here. You know, this is one that, you know, you really want to be careful on. You know, if, you're, if you're playing like an ABCD setup on this one or you're, you know, you're looking to, you know, scalp breakouts, you really got to be cautious here on NSYS. You know, sometimes we'll look for that ABCD game plan. Uh, but, you know, this is one that you really want to be cautious on playing breakouts on this one because, you know, one pullback could really crush you. You know, it could drop a dollar if he's... So I just want to give you that uh, heads up to you guys. Uh, yes, Doc Buck, my game plan. <clears throat> you know, I think this is one that I think has big potential. Uh, so I'm going to fight it through. I'll probably stop out maybe like below this 490 mark. I'll probably break even on it. Uh, maybe even like 480. I'll take like a 10 cent loss. Because I want to walk away in the green, guys. You know, if you're up a good amount on the day, you're up maybe $500,000 on the day. You know, don't let a nice green day go red. So I'm not going to let it go red on me. Maybe I'll take a small loss on my remaining amount of shares here. But I definitely want to hold this one through. Easy to borrow. Was, was easy to borrow for a good amount of time. Uh, 900k float. I think this definitely has some big time potential today. So I definitely uh, you know want to hold uh, my remaining shares here and uh, give it some room to run. You know, gotta let uh, gotta let some of these winners run. So uh, gonna give it some room here on NSYS. If anything, you know, if it keeps running on up, I'll just keep uh, bumping up my stop loss. So we'll see here. You know, about to open up right now on. Uh, this market about to open up, so let's see. There we go. I'm gonna throw up another level two here. Here we go. NSYS, you know, uh, pushing here. Gonna uh, put I'll put APDA on the bottom. See if that one can get any sort of bounce. All right, here we go, NSYS. So right here, just watching the tape, watching the volume. Want to see how it's going to react on this push here.
Man, this price action feels so similar to APDN. Feels so similar to APDN. You know, it's funny how they pick something like this. It's so similar uh, in the price action, just the way the tape is, the way they. Here we go. There's seven. Wow. AP. Uh, excuse me. NSYS here. Seven dollar touch right there. All right, I want to see if we can get over seven here. Right at seven bucks. Is struggling a little bit here at seven. Is struggling a little bit here at seven. Let's see if we can get over here. Not a bad idea, maybe to lock in some here. <coughs> Excuse me, lock in some here. All right, did just lock in. Did just lock in 250 shares here on uh on uh, NSYS. So locked in uh. See, that's having a lot of trouble here at seven. So I did lock in there. Uh, I did get out there at like that 685 mark. Uh, if it goes, it goes. Good for NSYS. You know, I'm still holding some shares, but just wanted to lock in a little bit more there. So I'm up uh, over $1,000 on the name on uh, NSYS. How's SINT looking? Yeah, SINT, nice fade here on SINT. Let's see if we get over uh, seven here. There it goes. <clears throat> New high day there on uh, NSYS. 720s. So NSYS continuing the uh, the hot penny stock momentum here. Back to back days. Almost a 200% uh, runner here on NSYS. So really good to see for this market, guys. Really good for this market. You know, I'm super excited. A little bummed out. I wish I had more shares, but... <clears throat> How could I have gotten more? You know, it was so thin, especially at the time I bought. It was so thin. It's not like I could have loaded up three, four thousand shares. That's just me being, <laughs> me just being a, an ass right there. <laughs> you know, saying I wish I had more shares. You know, how could I have gotten more? You know. Thank you guys, appreciate it. So I'm just gonna be holding these 250 shares here, see how high they could go. Maybe I look to sell over 10 on them. All right, let's see, uh, <laughs> Casper, I'm trading your size. Uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, I had a thousand shares at most and, uh, holding 250 shares here. So definitely a small position here for me. Uh, let's see, uh, George, you think I played it beautifully? Thank you. Uh, let's see, bike, why couldn't I get more? Uh, I kind of went over this, uh, you know, it's just a extremely thin name. Uh, the spreads were huge, especially at the time I bought. I bought right around this here, right around uh, no, not by there. Excuse me. Bought right around eight forty, right around this eight forty four, eight forty five candle, right around here. You could see even the volume on this candle was like eight thousand, <laughs> so it was not much by any means there on uh, NSYS. So it was very thin, uh, low volume. You know, it was not a play. I could have loaded up, you know, four thousand shares. You know, this thing could have easily had a you know, a, a death candle, uh, and it could have dropped the point. So that could have been a $4,000 loss. So, uh, 
You know, I was going in small, uh, willing to take the risk of having a major pullback to down to four bucks, uh, with potential upside uh, to six, seven bucks, and we got it here on uh, NSYS. Uh, bike, I just, uh, you know, I just used my hotkey. I hotkeyed in uh, one thousand shares, and actually, I think I did bulk. So I did. I think I did like two five hundred. So I hit five hundred once, and then I hit it again. Nice. Uh, I'm seeing some traders in chat too. APDN, you know, you guys are scalping, scalping there. I saw it come to life. Had a nice little call out, uh, sub five. So great job over there on uh, APDN. If you guys are interested, you guys are like, oh, Nick, I want to get in uh, NSYS. I would say you guys really got to wait for some sort of pullback back down to the $6 mark. And look at the volume too. Look at the volume on NSYS. Uh, this is a lot better than uh, APDN volume. You know, we're doing, you know, 400K bars here for a 900K stock, a 900K uh, float stock, and a $7 name. So this thing is doing very nice volume here in NSYS, much better than APDN. So let's see if we could see, uh, you know, possibly, uh, you know, eight, nine bucks here on NSYS coming on up. But I would definitely say, you know, look at this, maybe this $6 area for some sort of pullback. Maybe the 650 mark. So just map up your lines, guys. Just map up your lines. For me, I'll probably just be holding my remaining shares. Uh, don't want to ruin my uh, my cost average. I'll just be patient uh, with my remaining size here. First name, uh, Happy Trader. What's going on? All right, so here's this first uh, pullback to our first line here. First pullback to our first line here, coming down to 650. So we'll see if this 650 line can hold. Below that, we're gonna have uh, six dollars. We also have 560 line. I don't know what happened to my line there. So these are the lines I have mapped up here, six fifty, six dollars, five sixty, and I would say backside is below five. Jeez, my dogs are destroying that bone. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, if you hear any noise in the background. Thank you, first name, uh, happy or happy trader, appreciate it. So it's trying to fight here, trying to hold 650. Came right to it also. That candle came right to 651. The low of that candle is 651. Yeah, this Yeti, this mic is so sensitive. Here we go. Back at the 6... Uh, excuse me, 710 here. So good job if anyone, even for a quick scalp, even 650 dip buy, uh, sell back over seven. You know, you were literally risking 10 cents. You know, if you're getting in there, 660s, risking uh, at 650 line, you're risking 10 cents. Boom, right there, back at 720. So nice for some quick scalps there too on uh, NSYS, if any of you guys were able to grab that. Nice, Sockbok, you got small off 660. Great entry right there, awesome. So now if you guys got in on that dip buy, what you're going to want to see is now you want to see $7 start the base. You want to see $7 start the base and boom, there we go. New high day right there on NSYS. Great job if anyone got off that dip buy right there off that 650 line. And that's how you want to play off your lines, guys. Play off your lines. You know, I say this all the time. Anything between your lines is noise. Nice, Russell. In and out. Now up $666. Great job.
Uh, someone asked in uh, Discord chat, Nick, how did you get the 650 line? Uh, just you know, just looking at you know, looking at the structure of you know the uh, the, the chart pattern, the chart here. You know, we had 650 was at pre-market uh, high area, so I mapped that out. Uh, previous resistance gonna act as new support, so I mapped out 650 here. 650 is also a natural support line. Every 25 cents is a natural support, natural resistance line. So I just mapped it out here, 650, and well, we bounced perfectly off that mark. I also had a $6 line and a 560 line. So and that's how you want to play it here in NSYS. And remember, guys, each time we bounce, too, it gets a little bit more risky. So maybe if this thing comes back down to 650, uh, a little bit more risky buying a second time around. Same thing with buying a third time around. Usually that first bounce is always the, always usually the nicest one, in my opinion, from what I see. So what you guys want to see now is, you know, this higher low being put in. You want to see it, you know, based around the 670s. Uh, you don't want to make it, you don't want to see it make a new low here uh, on uh, NSYS. So you want to see higher lows start to form here. So you want to see 670s, 680 start the base on uh, NSYS. You know, if we crack this 650, we're probably going back down this to uh, 6 bucks. You know, I think I think NSYS would be best, guys, if we did pull back to six. I think it would be best, you know, as far as, you know, getting a nice short tweeze. I think it would be best to, you know, for it to pull back to six. Oh, look at that. Just as I was saying that, back down to 628. <laughs> wow, look at that, 580. So this is really pulling back hard here, guys. This is uh, not what you really want to see. I would consider that a little bit of a death candle right there on NSYS. Consider that a little bit of a death candle. So I did lock out the rest of my shares there, guys. Did rock lock out the rest of my shares there, 590s. Wasn't even holding that much anyway. I think on that last share, I think I made like, I think I made like a little over a hundred bucks. So did lock out there five nineties on uh, NSYS. So uh, all out of that trade because uh, you know we saw our death candle right there. Uh, you know I don't like seeing these death candles. That's not a pullback that you guys want to be buying into. So NSY NSYS giving back hard here, guys. So, NSYS here giving us this uh, death candle here. So, uh, and now you got to be really cautious here on NSYS. You know, I know we have the $6 line. I know we have this 560 line. But you can see how it just blasted uh, all through our support lines here. Uh, definitely uh, something you really want to be cautious now on NSYS. You're going to have a lot of longs now bagged. You know, you're going to have a lot of longs who are bagged. Uh, all the longs we bought up here, you know, 650s, you know, those 650 dip buyers, those 670 dip buyers, all of them are now underwater here on NSYS. We have all this volume traded up here, now stuck here on NSYS. So uh, definitely you guys want to be uh, cautious here. Oh, yeah, CLVS. That's another name I uh, forgot. That was another one on the watch, is CLVS. They did have a PR on CLVS. I like the daily chart on that one. How's it looking? Nice, nice little uptrend there on CLVS. Nice off the week opens. That was a good little setup there on uh, NSYS. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, Poseidon calling me out in chat. <laughs> Poseidon saying I uh, you know dumped on you guys. All right, so we'll see right here at five. Ugh, NSYS blasting through everything, so it looks like it's backside here, guys. It looks like NSYS is done. Uh, just blasted through five bucks. Uh, you know, if, that, if it holds under five, uh, if it starts, if you start seeing it hold under five, it's definitely done here on NSYS. Uh, I won't be touching this at all, and maybe unless maybe unless it sets up in the afternoon, uh, I wouldn't be buying uh, right now on NSYS. Need to wait for uh, some sort of higher low, some sort of reversal. But right now, it's definitely looking a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say a little bit. Looking pretty bad right now for the longs. Let's see. RHE. So we're seeing some other uh, low float names are popping up here. RHE, ELMD. And I'm uh, sorry if I sound a little tired this morning, guys. <laughs> Didn't uh, sleep too well last night. On uh, on only a few hours of sleep right now, but uh, yeah, I'm still good. I'm still good. Still here trading and uh, commenting for you guys. But if I sound a little tired, it's just because I didn't get uh, much sleep last night. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. R H E. How's APDM looking? APDM kind of going sideways here. Lack of volume. We expect it after that offering. No, I'm actually single right now. I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, let's see, Casper. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's done, but definitely not looking good. You know, done would be consolidating below five. You know, if we hold under five dollars, uh, because that was my backside line. You know, I I, I put that five dollar line there for a reason. I said below five is backside. So, you know, if we if we uh consolidate below five for a long period of time, I would say it's done. Uh on uh, NSYS, but I definitely think uh, it's going to be much harder now, uh, you know, with this all this death candle here, you're going to have a lot of longs now, bag, but it is super thin, the name, it is a super thin name, so, you know, volume does creep back in, yes, it definitely could recover, but I definitely, I definitely think it's going to need some time also, like I said, maybe later, maybe a little bit later on in the day would be better, maybe around like, you know, you know, 1, 2 p.m., maybe it just consolidates throughout the morning and then squeezes later on. Or we could see how it looks maybe around 10, 30, 11. But definitely right now, I think it needs some time to consolidate as well. We'll see how it looks a little bit later into the morning or the afternoon. And I'll be posting uh, my charts and everything over in uh, Discord chat once the stream ends. Posting my entries and exits and the P&L if you want. Forgot to post it uh, yesterday, I apologize. Wow, Casper, you think it's going to get back uh, to E+. Plus? Uh <clears throat> Hey, you know, 900k float. I mean, if this volume comes in that we were seeing, you know, off the open, we get in these three, 400k bars. Uh, it definitely could, but you know, the volume right now is definitely, uh, you know, fading at the moment. So we're gonna have to see what happens later on uh, today. Maybe if we reclaim six on strong volume, uh, could be of interest. Uh, no, I don't think right now is a good area to buy. Unless you really like it, totally up to you. I'm just giving you my opinion. I would say wait for you know higher lows and a, maybe a reclaim of six on NSYS. Right now, a little bit more of a riskier entry getting in around 520s. RHE, not a fan of RHE. This one's known fader. You look at these, some of these days here. 
It's got on a lot. It's got on a you know nice history of fades. You opened up at four seventy five, hit five thirty, closed at you know three fifty. Uh, you know it's gonna have a lot of baggage overhead too on RHE. I mean we'll see. We'll keep it on watch. Still a micro float here. Keep it on watch. But I would still say NSYS uh, potential later if it sets on up. But right now definitely looking uh, pretty uh, pretty bad for the long side at the moment. Uh, what I meant by that, like don't buying the second dip, uh, what I mean is something like this. And I don't say like don't buy the second dip, I'm just saying usually the best dips come off the first bounce. So you can see here, this was the first bounce of the 650 line. Came back on down, rejected, came back down to 650. This would have been the second dip buy here, and you can see it absolutely tanked. So that's what I mean by buying the second dip uh, off that line. So... You know, it depends what line you're talking about, you know. Depends what line you're talking about. You know, I don't consider this a second dip. Uh, it's like the first time we're, uh, you know, bouncing off this $5 line. So if it came back down and the $5 line again, I'd consider that the second dip of $5. But hey, you know, overall, let's say NSYS does fade off and die today. It's still great signs for this market. This t it's back to back days. We had over a hundred percent runners yesterday. APDN ran two hundred percent. NSYS uh, once again today from four dollars to seven forty six. So hey, we're getting some action, guys. We're getting some low float action here. This is what I like to see, uh, you know, in this market. So uh, you know, another solid day. Even if NSYS uh, doesn't reclaim and doesn't get back near the high is still a solid day some nice action this morning and make sure you guys are over in discord make sure you guys are over in discord you know, I was calling NSYS out very early this morning uh, you guys can go back and look at the chat logs uh, I was calling it out in NSYS uh, pretty early this morning. So make sure you guys are over there. I do take a lot of pre-market trades. So I do like to trade in pre-market. So uh, make sure you guys are over there. I'll be calling them out you know, as they come. All right, so let's see NSYS coming up to 540 here. We'll see if we can put in some higher lows, start to consolidate and work its way back on up. But what I would like to see, the best thing I would like to see here, so this would be like in a perfect world, NSYS uh, continuing to put in these higher lows, continuing to consolidate, maybe around like 1030, like 1045-ish. Uh, we put in a strong green candle over six. And I mean like a strong green candle, like two, three hundred K bar, uh, pull back, hold six, and boom, you could look to get long there, risking off a previous higher low. I think that would be the best case scenario here on uh, NSYS. But right now, definitely going to need some time. Definitely going to need some time right now. Uh, what about APDN with a very tight stop? Hey, if you think it's going to get some sort of uh, bounce here, you know, go for it. Uh, definitely not dead cap bounce setup I like playing. I don't like dead cap bouncing uh, offerings, especially on, you know, recent runners. I think a more, uh, I think a better dead cap bounce setup is just something that we saw yesterday on SLDB, uh, APDN. Yes, it definitely could, you know, move back on up, but a little bit more riskier in my opinion. Uh, so I would say you, you kind of want to play that five line. You kind of want to play that five line, so... Uh, I would say maybe wait for some sort of pullback or if you want to play 525. So totally up to you. Let's 
see, let's see, let's see what else is going on. RHE, how's RHE looking? RHE dumping here, giving back. That would have been a nice short actually on RHE. I didn't, well, I wasn't even uh, really uh, giving it much thought there on RHE, but that would have been an, actually a, a pretty nice uh, parabolic short here on RHE. Dead volume, overhead supply, history of fading. So that would have been a nice short risking off too. I uh, didn't really give him much thought though, but a uh, nice one if anyone caught that on the short side. TRPX, TRPX giving back. PTE, JAGX. All right, so a little bit of a little bit of a lull in the action right now. If you guys have any questions for me, you guys could uh, you guys could ask. Let's see, CLVS, CLVS is looking great. I mean, that was one. I I don't know if I mentioned it in pre market. I may have mentioned it. Uh, I may have mentioned it in pre market on uh, CLVS, but I said that one. You know, it has good potential for you know a swing. I did swing it a few days ago. Did have a news headline uh, this morning after yesterday. It got hammered in by some short sellers the past two days. So we could definitely be seeing some more. Uh, definitely be seeing some type of, some type of short squeeze this morning on uh, on CLVS. So uh, definitely not a bad watch if you guys are looking for maybe like a slow grinder, like a slow all day grinder. CLVS could be that option you want to look at. So let me put CLVS on the bottom level two here. Yeah, I would say if you were in, you know, right around the six dollar mark, you could play off you know, that five ninety area on CLVS. You know, that prior higher low area, five ninety. Looking for like maybe six thirty, six forties on CLVS. All right, so NSYS back at support here at five dollars. Could see maybe an over under here, you know, four nineties back over five. But what you want to see is it held, hold strong at five. You want to see five hold strong. If we break down, you want to see a quick reclaim. You don't want to see it consolidate under five because this could form this bouncy ball pattern here. Usually, sometimes do see this. You know, when we get this dev candle, uh, it comes back on up, quick little pop. And then, you know, makes this little bouncy ball pattern where, you know, kind of like a ball, you know, bounces. The next bounce is weaker, then the next bounce is even weaker, and then it dies. So, kind of that bouncy ball analogy here. So, if the next pop we have is like 525 and it's looking really weak and then we break down 5 hard, it's probably done. Probably done. Alright, let's see. Uh, thoughts on plug... Let me look at my other chart. Uh, plug, not bad. Uh, Going to trade a little bit more thicker. Going to be more of a thickly traded play. Uh, bigger market cap here. Uh, bigger floor. I like the short percentage around 20% on uh, PLUG. Uh, you know, as far as you're know, swinging it, you know, I mean, you're swinging a stock that's you know, at 52 week highs, so a little bit riskier. I like buying stocks personally in the lower right hand corner. Uh, you know, that are slowly starting to curl back up for swing trades. So, uh, you know, as far as a day trade, uh, excuse me, guys, give me one second.
All right, I'm back, guys. I apologize about that. A little noisy in my house this morning. All right, let's see. What was I going over? Oh, yeah, PLUG. PLUG. You know, just know I wanted to be a little bit more thickly traded on PLUG. Uh, it's n not going to trade like a low flow by any means. You know, bigger in flow, bigger in market cap. You're going to trade more like a big cat stock. And it's also at 52 week highs. So, uh, you know, I don't like, personally, I don't like swinging at 52 week highs. But could look for, a, you know, a quick scalp, you know, for a day trade on it. Uh, not bad. All right, let's see. Uh, appreciate it coming to you. Yep, you know, I was calling out CLVS very early in chat. I was calling out the uh, the news, the headline on it this morning. I do like that play for, you know, a possible, uh, you know, steady, steady grinder throughout the morning. Coming right to support here at 590. So right at support here at 590 on CLVS. Uh, the next line, I would say, is 575. So below 590, I'd say 575 is going to be that next line on it. So we'll see how it reacts right around this 590 area. Uh, let's see, NSYS. Yeah, it's trying to hold five here. It's definitely trying to hold five here on uh, NSYS. Uh, the bouncy ball setup is not like the deck cap bounce setup. The bouncy ball setup is kind of a short pattern. Kind of a short pattern on uh, NSY on uh, the bouncy ball setup. You know, it's usually when, uh, usually when your def line breaches or your backside line breaches. So let's say five is my backside line, right? Comes back on down, breaks your your line, comes back on up, goes on a quick pop, you know, bounces and then recracks and then that recrack, uh, you you do want to look to possibly you know take a short entry, uh, risking off. Uh, you know, one of those tops. Not a setup, you know, I, I play often, you know. But uh, it is a setup that worked uh, pretty well for me in the past. All right, let's see here. NSYS, a little bit of a push. Still holding that $5 mark. All right, so pushing here is 550s coming up to our uh, EMA lines here on uh, NSYS. So you want to see these pullbacks start to hold. So we want to see, you know, now 520s, 530s hold on pullbacks. We don't want to see back towards 5 again. We don't want to see back towards 5 again. And we got this double bottom here around this $5, $5 dollar mark. So now let's see, uh, you know, these pullbacks start to hold and they start to consolidate. There's a little bit of a volume candle right there, 200k bar. So a little bit of volume starting to move on in here on uh, NSYS. Uh, remember the six dollar marks. I, I think is going to be a big area. You know, if we could reclaim six on strong volume, base over six, could see a push back on up. Or if you guys are starting to like it here, maybe look for a 520, 530s pullback, risking five. That's another option. Totally up to you guys. I'm just throwing out, you know, thoughts that are going through my head. CLVS coming back on up. Right back at six, CLVS. Right back at six. Remember, be patient here, NSYS. Still only 10 o'clock. You know, I said maybe around 10 30, 10 45 would be a good area to see this thing squeeze on up. So you want to see some more consolidation. Consolidation is good, especially after especially after a huge def candle like this. Or a death drop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you have a lot of longs bags. You want to have, you want to, you want to have it. You want to give it time where the longs to get on out and you know, start, you know, exiting their positions here. Uh, you know, filter some, uh, you know, weaker hands out here on NSYS, and then open up that opportunity for, uh, you know, the squeeze back on up. Uh, let's see, Chris, thoughts on AMC for our dead cat.
Alright guys, I'm back here. NSYS, slowly starting to curl back on up here. Slowly starting to curl back on up. Getting over the EMA lines here, the 7289 EMA lines. So watching it here, watching this 550 pullback at the moment. Let's see. Sorry if I keep uh, keep muting the mic, guys. A little bit noisy in my house this morning. I do apologize for that. Um, uh, watching NSYS right here, you know, at this 550 area. I think it's a crucial area right here. You know, starting to put in this like first higher low at the moment. Putting in this first higher low. See, Casper looking along about 580 with 540 stop. All right, good luck to you if you uh, you want to do enter that trade, Casper. So right here, what I'm looking for, guys, what I'm looking for at the moment, I'm looking for soaking. I'm watching a tape here. I want to look to see if there's you know soaking on the bids. Is this so? What I'm wondering here is this just a short uh, short some shorts covering from up here, or is this you know? Let me try to make a real move to the back up to the upside here. So watching the tape here, watching for soaking on the bids. Uh, pay attention and paying attention to the tape and the volume at the moment here on NSYS. I want to see if we're going to see you know uh, true strength here on these pullbacks, or we're going to see weakness on these pullbacks. So that's what I'm watching for here. So let's see how the how we look on these dips here. Yeah, at 545 area held pretty nicely right there. Slowly working its way on up here on uh, NSYS. Let's see if we got to get some volume come in here. Remember, guys, you know, we turned the float here, you know. You know, floats 900K. We turned the float here a bunch of times here on, uh, on NSYS. I know we had this... You know this def drop here but slowly working our way up here on uh, nsys yeah stock block i don't think we're gonna see you know some good volume you know until you know we get over six kind of just consolidating right here and it doesn't take much you know volume bars to move this thing on up you know where you know a, a micro float here
You have a 550 bidder now stepping on in here. Wow, look at that. He got chewed up there, NSYS. A little bit of a stuff move right there in NSYS, right back at 515, 512. Boom, that looks like it's probably game over there on NSYS. Definitely looks like it's game over right there on NSYS. Just uh, no follow through on this move on up here. No follow through on uh, NSYS. You would never reclaim you know, that $6 mark. Just didn't get that, you know, that follow through move here on NSYS. Yeah, so NSYS, yeah, definitely a, definitely a, uh, a troublesome play on the long side. You know, unless you caught it, you know, pre-market like I did, definitely a troublesome play here. And maybe the only other time was like right here at the 650 dip for a scalp. I think Stockbot caught that one on that dip and that scalp move. Other than that, it's just been, you know, pretty choppy action here. You have this move up, up, on up here, you know, I was watching you. started to consolidate, putting some higher lows. But I was kind of waiting for, you know, that $6 reclaim on uh, NSYS. Just never got it. Just never got it. So now this is going to be a bunch of bag holders. Everyone who bought up here is now bagged on the long side. So NSYS is uh, probably toast here. I'm definitely taking it off watch on the long side. Looks like it's done here. So looks like that kind of uh, kind of ending this morning here. Kind of ending this morning here. Uh, that was a solid morning, you know, for me. Uh, continuing this green streak. Not sure how many green days in a row this is. But definitely on a nice little green streak right now. Uh, I think in like five or six maybe green days in a row. Uh, made made over just over a thousand bucks this morning again. Uh, NSYS, and that was really all, my only trade this morning. Didn't really take anything else. So what time is it? Ten sixteen. So I'll probably give the stream guys another ten fifteen minutes. I am pretty tired over here, so you know, make it some rest. Make it some rest. Damn, Russell is killing it. Russell is killing it. You know, yesterday he made over a thousand. Today he made two thousand. He's putting up bigger numbers than me. Killing it, Russell. Exactly, Stockbuck. Yeah, that's what I'm more excited about. I'm not even, and don't even you know, P and Ls are good and all, but you know, don't you know, don't trade off P and L. You know, the reason I'm bringing up a P and L a little bit more recently. I know I said I'm not bringing up P and L. But the reason I'm bringing it up a little bit more is because I want to show you guys how I minimize my red days. I want to show you guys how, you know, my green days are much more substantial than my red days. And that's signs of, you know, professional trader, you know, professional trader, you know, is going to minimize your red. You're going to minimize your red days, you know, if, once you get to that, you know, that pro status, in my opinion. You know, because that's what really matters, you know, keeping your red days small. That's very important. All right, so uh, yeah, so I'm probably gonna give it like another 10, 15 minutes here. Uh, you know, wrap it up. Yeah, exactly, uh, Dermot. Yeah, you know, don't get greedy. You know, don't get greedy. You know, don't go back to the well too many times. You know. Just need, uh, you know, not even, you know, you can even have, uh, you know, one or two good trades a week and that could hold you over. You know, for the week, I'm up uh, 2000 bucks. I mean, it's a pretty solid week for me. So, uh, you know, don't want to let my, uh, you know, my green week, you know, turn into a red week.
Yep, you know, plus two, stock buck. Totally agree with you, man. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions the last 10 minutes, uh, you know, feel free to ask. I'll uh, answer those for you guys. And if you guys enjoyed the stream, you know, feel free to uh, drop a thumbs up. Appreciate that. I'm hoping the next runner we have, you know, is not so thin. <laughs> I'm hoping the next runner we have isn't th so thin. Because I would love to load up on one of these plays. You know, I would love to load up on a... You know, one of these low flow plays, it's just the last two low floats we had, I had to go small on them. So I'm hoping the next one we get is not a thin name. It's, you know, a little bit thicker, not super thick, but a little bit thicker than what we've been seeing. So, uh, you know, I really hope that, uh, you know, the next play is a little bit more, uh, a little bit better uh, in the volume, volume wise. Uh, what do you mean by the bitter neck soaking? Uh, yeah, I went over this. I'll go over it again. Uh, you know, it's when the, uh, you know, when you're seeing, you know, a lot of orders go through on the bid side, but it's not budging. This means there's a hidden buyer there, a hidden soaker. So just looking for, you know, hidden buyers there on the bid side. Yeah, you know, Chris, I, I told, yep, you know, Chris, I uh, went over it. I said, uh, I love CLVS. I love CLVS today for a slow grinder. Uh, you know, look for that thing to be a steady grinder throughout the morning. I like how it had a news, I like how it had a PR this morning. You know, I love the daily chart on CLVS. I think that could be a nice, slow, steady grinder. And there we go, CLVS, as we're speaking, just put in the, the highest volume candle of the day. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like that. I think I may do that. You know, I think we'd need an FAQ because uh, not your guys' fault. It's just I know it's different viewers, you know, each and every day. But so many of these questions I went over, and I don't mind repeating myself at all, but I think it would be nice to get a FAQ. Uh, Jeremiah, you guys stopped out on CLVS. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah, it did crack that 590 line. Uh, it did held that 575 line. So I could see if you may risk off that 590 line. You may have gotten stopped out. Put in a really strong hammer candle. Really strong hammer candle there. Uh, that's a strong candle right there. Held. Held on up. And now it's coming on up here on uh, CLVS. I would be very surprised on NSYS. I mean, I wouldn't be very surprised, but I'd be a little shocked if NSYS ever got near the highs again. I mean, this price action been so poor here. I mean, just very poor price action. You know, def drop. Uh, it came back on up, rejected the support line. Came on up. Once again, you know, big stuff move here. Now bouncing on up on weak volume, very weak volume on this pop. I'll be very surprised if we got back up near the highs. I think there's just too many longs bagged here, so I'd be very surprised here on uh, CLVS. Uh, soaking is you no know, soaking is good on the bid, but soaking is bad on the ask. So you I mean you could still see soaking on the ask side, uh, but yeah, so it really depends. You know, it depends if you're long or short too. Kevin made six hundred and thirty six dollars on NSYS, you know, great job. Uh but got got really greedy, bought on the dip at five sixty one, thinking we'll push again at the end of the day, making uh he ended up making sixty seven. Think you got uh any tips? I'm trying to see where you bought at five sixty one. Uh, you mean did you get in at pre market at five sixty one or you got in 
you know, here at 561. So I kind of need to know, well, you know, where you got in to maybe help you out a little bit. But it seems like you may have answered your uh, question there a little bit too. I mean, you said you got greedy. Definitely, uh, definitely not a good thing to do is get greedy. And also, uh, you know, you don't want to let a big green day go red. You know, for me, you know, I was up, I was up 500, uh, realized, and I was still in my position, uh, you know, from 490s. Uh, and I told myself, and I told you guys, I'm not going to let my $500 green day go red. So then I locked in some more here, was up a thousand bucks. And then on the rest, I just stopped out. So I, I wasn't going to let myself go red on the day. So uh, you guys want to make sure that uh, you know, you're, you're uh, protecting those profits. Very important, especially you know early on when you're growing that small account. You really want to protect those uh, protect those gains. Uh, Dermot, uh, how long did it take you uh, to find your niche in trading? What worked and didn't? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I would probably say, you know, it took me, took me maybe a, uh, almost two years. I'd probably say, you know, a year. Yeah, I'd probably say a year and close to, you know, end of that. I'd probably say, yeah, probably close to two years. Close to two years it took me. You know, the first year I kind of was getting my feet wet, you know, learning the market a little bit. My first year was a break-even year. You know, I think I was small green on the year. It wasn't red because I always stuck to, you know, certain rules. Alex in place to me always told me to cut losses quickly. Uh, and he, he gave me a lot of uh, good rules and tips to, uh, you know, really help me, uh, you know, get by that first year. The first year was just really a learning year for me. Uh, you know, I wasn't really consistent, but I was still always, you know, break-even or a little green because I was cutting losses quickly. I respected my stop losses and I... Uh, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't hold the bag. I was never a type of trader to, you know, you know, hold the bag and, you know, uh, you know, hope that goes back on up. I would always cut quickly. And then, you know, coming into year, uh, a little bit into my, my first year, I started seeing some more, uh, you know, some more growth as far as my account wise, because I started in placing, uh, strategies, started implementing some strategies, you know, a little bit after my, uh, first year. And then I'd probably say it took me maybe six to seven months after I started putting in strategies to uh, you know really grow a uh, you know a good system in place for myself, and then after that I was seeing more consistency as I had a proper system, had proper rules in place, and uh, that's where I really uh, you know started to really you know, see uh, tremendous growth once I had a good system in place, and that's why I made that video you know the the process video go, definitely go check it out. I know I've been talking a little bit lately, guys, on the videos, but that's a good video. You know, my, uh, my the day trading process video I put out, it shows you guys my process each and every day. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, over trading is the worst habit to have. You get greedy when you're green. That's been right. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's something, you know, you guys want to do. You guys want to recognize your bad habits early on and, you know, just, uh, you know, prevent them from keep happening. You know, just, uh, you know, know your own weaknesses is going to help you out a lot, you know. So, uh, yeah, I definitely think that's crucial to recognize. Maybe if you're an over trader, it's good to recognize that early on and prevent that from happening. So what could you do? You know, maybe, uh, you know, have your broker lock you out past, you know, I don't know, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So call up your broker and be like, hey, uh, you know, shut me off past 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, I don't want to be able to place any trades after that time. Maybe that could help you prevent over trading. 
Uh, what else could you maybe do to prevent overtrading? Maybe having a uh, you know, max daily loss limit too, because you know overtrading could lead to uh, you know some red, and you keep overtrading, you know, as you're down in the red, you know, could spell some big trouble. So uh, I definitely I would say that for anyone, not even overtrading, just everyone should have a max, uh, you know, you know broker loss limit. You know, if you don't, you know, definitely hop on that and, you know, set one up because, uh, you know, motions could definitely get to you, you know, when you're deep in the red. So it's good to have, uh, you know, your broker cut you off. All right, Jeremiah, thank you very much. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow as well. Yeah, bike, I, I did have a playlist, you know, but I, uh. It removed it. I'm probably gonna, you know, put one back on. Been pretty lazy with that stuff, I'll be honest, but you know, I'm here streaming every day though. So uh not lazy on that aspect. Yeah, the nightbot doesn't let you post links. I I gotta switch that today. I, I did it yesterday, I just forgot to save it by accident. Side note, guys, NSYS coming up, guys. Wow, NSYS just snuck up on us. Came out of nowhere. Came out of left field on NSYS. I did not even see this. I'll, I'll be honest, guys. I was not paying attention to this on NSYS. Let's see here. Coming up to six bucks. Uh, Bike, you could just post it in the Discord. Post it in the Discord. I'm sure everyone here is in the Discord, hopefully. I didn't even realize, too, at 10.30, I'm probably going to wrap it up. I'm actually just going to watch NSYS here. Uh, if we break out, I'll keep going. But, you know, if we, like, slam and reject here, I'll probably wrap it up in the next uh, minute or two here. So I'm just going to give it a second here in NSYS to see if we get, you know, some sort of breakout. I mean, NSYS is tricky too, you know, I don't like how the price action is very, it's very, uh, very choppy on the long side. Each time we came on up, we had a pretty nasty drop, so definitely being cautious here on NSYS. Uh, thank you, Casper. Casper just posted the link in Discord. So if anyone wants to check out that video, uh, it's over in Discord. Dreambox, uh, good good job uh, pointing that out. I actually didn't remember that. So now this gets you thinking, you know, I always think from a short standpoint, always good to think, you know, from a short standpoint too. This should have died here. This should have died, uh, you know, multiple times here below five, especially this time. You know, I was definitely thinking on this, uh, this time here, we're going to, you know, top out around five thirties and then die on off because you had multiple rejections here. So I could definitely see some shorts here. Maybe stuck from lower averages. Yes, we do have some longs trapped too, but I definitely think we could have more shorts trapped, especially after the slam candle here. I definitely think a lot of shorts are probably hitting in here, and we could have some shorts here stuck as well. So it's really going to come down to the volume here. Really going to come down to the volume here, you know, whether we go up or, you know, come back on down here. Because there's definitely longs trapped, and now there's definitely some more shorts trapped here after this. You know, action on he action uh, the last you know ten fifteen minutes because this definitely you know should have died in my opinion should have died
And we are coming up to zombie hour too. It's going to be 10.30. Oh, it is 10.30. Excuse me. 10.34. So we're entering zombie hours. Anyone uh, long here on NSYS, feel free to throw it in chat. Or is anyone short? Not really seeing the bid step in on these dips. Not really seeing bid step in at all. I like to see, you know, some strong bid support on these pullbacks. Just not seeing it. Just not seeing it. Soared a little bit over here on 540s, but that was it. I want to see the bids, you know, be a little bit more aggressive here and, you know, step on in. To me, that shows me a sign of strength on the level too. Let's see, uh, you're long at NSYS 540. All right, good luck to you. Hope uh, we're cheering you on. Definitely watching it a little bit here myself on NSYS. Casper, you're going to wrap it up. Take your 5% uh, on two trades. All right, man. Have a good morning. Have a good rest of your morning. All right, let's see here. All right, stock block. See you tomorrow, man. Thank you for uh, all the input. Uh, bike. What time do you normally go to bed? Uh, I'd probably say between you know, anywhere between like ten thirty and you know, twelve thirty. Uh, anything past like 12.30 is pretty late for me. Like last night, I think I went to bed at like like 2. <laughs> so that was really late for me. All right, you too, Lou. Uh, you know, Lou Best. Have a good one. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give it a few more minutes here on NSYS. Just want to give it a few minutes here because last thing I want to do is just see this thing go parabolic and then I end the stream. You know, <laughs> so I'll probably give it to like maybe like ten forty two, ten forty three ish. So another three four minutes here. And I see a lot of you guys hopping off as well.
uh, Arthur, hey, what's up? Uh, I use uh, Dash Trader uh, for my main trading broker. I also use uh, E-Trade uh, for charting in level two. And then, uh, you know, this is uh, Scanners, Trade Ideas. For But yeah, we were referring to this. Yeah, this is uh, E Trade. This is E Trade right here. I uh, E Trade is my favorite as far as you know, level two. Love their uh, level two. Dragon, I uh, hope pronounce your pr pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, yeah, it's forming a little bit of an ascending triangle pattern here. Definitely see that as well on NSYS. I'm watching it pretty closely here. Kind of see the triangle forming here. Triangles are always good. So I'd really say that six dollar lines, you know, that big mark here on uh, on NSYS, that six dollar mark. So we could definitely watch for volumes to uh, you know come in over six bucks. on up here slowly working on up you know, watch 550s here let's see if 550s let me you see any bid step in here Uh, bike, yeah, they're happy now. I mean, at first they weren't really, but uh, definitely happy now. FCEL coming up to one buck. Alright, I think I gave uh, NSYS long enough, and I'm really exhausted over here, guys. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but pretty exhausted here. So, I think I'm going to end the stream now. Uh, if I do get into any trades, I'll uh, let you guys know over in Discord. Uh, NSYS, definitely keeping this one on watch. Uh, putting in some higher lows here. Putting in this ascending triangle pattern at the moment. Uh, I do want to keep this one on watch. You know, still a 900k flow stock. It's still... Uh, Still going a nice move here if the right volume comes in, especially over six bucks. Definitely think we could see uh, some sort of move here if the right volume gets it comes in over that six dollar line. So definitely keep uh, this on watch, especially over six dollars. And I think that's gonna be it for the stream. So hope everyone enjoyed today's stream. Uh, one for one on the day for me, keeping this green streak going. Uh, I'll be back at it again first thing tomorrow, and I'll see you guys all over in Discord and on the stream tomorrow morning. So that's gonna be it for me. Uh, peace.